there's a morale issue in dealership where as a salesperson, I'm getting these redundant tasks over and over and over again, and that can really wear on somebody over time. I, I think artificial intelligence helps take some of that out of the equation as well. So by saying, hey, you need to do this, not me guessing what happens, call them on their birthday, call them at three months, so on and so forth. Uh, it makes my job more enjoyable. As managers and dealer principals in the dealership, we need to be teaching these folks that, look, these tools are designed to make it easier on you, to spend less time on you, know, on you personally, and at the same time, provide you with every arrow in your quiver that you need to go win this car deal, right? You know, we have a job to educate the industry on how we're different about AI here. Um, and that most dealerships consider, uh, in the industry really, considers artificial intelligence just to be a chat bot, right? Um, and making it easy to make sure nothing falls through the cracks on customer communications. But it's quite different, as you know, with uh, Cox Automotive in that we have Kelly Blue Book, we have Auto Trader, and we have Dealer.com, by far and away the biggest websites in all of automotive. So our cast net uh, for artificial intelligence, or as we call it, automotive intelligence, is quite large, right? So 75% of all vehicle transactions are coming through some kind of Cox property. So that gives us a tremendous amount of data to leverage from, and it gives us a big cast net to customer experience, right? So we can take that, lift all of that up now, and provide the dealership with only the best of you know, thousands of lines of data, uh, that algorithm is finding the best of it and really just setting that up on a silver platter for them so they can go out and execute and provide that good experience based off of having the training, the knowledge and everything that they need to do uh, to go out and be successful and create a good customer experience. You know, we're, we're often left to guess exactly what a customer wants, uh, how we should deliver it, how, how we should package it up for them. Uh, automotive intelligence gives us unique insights and shows us the path to deliver the best experience possible. If you're begrudgingly, you know, thinking about technology, then man, it's going to be a tough road uh, going forward. And I think the ones that are the early adopters with this type of technology are really going to provide leverage points to gain market share in their own markets and then ultimately you know with this type of technology providing a great experience retain that share right going forward and ultimately conquest new customers away from their competition based off the amount of you know crazy relevancy that the dealership is providing almost so much sometimes they think it's coincidence and it's not coincidence it's just technology